Hi, I'm Brent, and I'm glad you're here. This workout is going to do a lot more for your golf game than a new set of golf clubs. Welcome to Evolve Golf One. Let's get started with our warm up. So, we're going to start off with some trunk rotations, loosening up the torso here. You're going to go right, nice and deep towards the ground, slowly come right back up. I'll let you know when to switch directions, all right? Now, this workout includes some familiar primal movements as well as some new exercises to improve power, control, and flexibility. Now, not only will it help even the newest golfer hit the ball longer and straighter, it will help you feel better on the golf course and also keep your head in the game. That's important. All right, we got mod one is the easiest. Mod three is the most difficult. Let's switch directions, guys. Good. Next stretch, we're gonna step back, right leg. Just a slight step back, force your hip forward. Feel that stretch through the front of the hip. Hold for two seconds, and then we're gonna repeat opposite side. So we'll keep going through that. Now, tutorials are the best way to have the moves broken down for you. Check them out to ensure your form is correct. Listen, good form is gonna get you the best results. So let's go two more steps. That's it, feel that stretch. Exhale as you lean backwards. Very good. Okay, next one. Stepping sideways, okay? Step sideways, you're gonna stretch the inner thigh here. Two second hold, you're not going too deep. We're just going back and forth. Two seconds each side. All right, mod one, here's Stephanie. Hi, Brent. How are we doing? I'm good. Ready good, good. Off? I'm ready to tee off. Are you ready to tee off? Oh, yeah. All right, next we have Robin in mod two. No more sand traps for me. And then Jagay, we got mod three. There you go, man. I'm ready, ready to make it happen today. Those clubs. Okay, good. We're going to get things going with another stretch here. We're going to go into just circles with the arms. So nice, wide circles to start, and then we're going to get narrow as we get further through it. So watch my arms here, getting a little bit smaller. Good, three, two, one, and let's switch directions nice and wide. Good, feel yourself open that chest up. A little smaller. Very good. Good, so before you start a game of golf, it's important to stretch. A lot of golfers don't. You really need that stretch perfect your game. Okay, next thing. We're just gonna go side to side here, side to side. Nice and easy, let your arms take you through the motion. Heel can come off the ground. We're gonna go about 15 more seconds with this one here. Excellent, breathe through it. Exhale with each turn. Nice, nice fluid motion. Excellent, okay. From there, toe out for me. All right, we're gonna go down. As you go down into a partial squat, you're gonna push your knees away from each other, okay? Come back up, go back down again, push your knees away from each other. You're gonna feel the stretch through the groin. I want you to keep your posture nice and tall throughout this movement as well. So we're gonna go for another 15 seconds. That's it. Nice, light pressure. Try to relax the inner thighs a little bit. You're stretching, you don't wanna be contracting against it. Stretching before a game, stretching between games is going to help with injury prevention. You want to make sure you're always focusing on flexibility and increasing your range of motion. Good, let's get things going with our first round of seven exercises followed by a blowout. Everything we're doing today focuses on the key elements your body uses on the golf course. Okay, let's tee it up. First round of set A, bent over Zen swing. So you're gonna hold that golf club in the hand, bend over about 45 degrees, keep your posture straight, and you're swinging side to side here. All right, let's start in three seconds, two, and one, here we go. Again, this is gonna help mobilize the muscles around the spine, right, loosen up the torso a little bit. So your mod three, 45 degree bend, nice full rotation here. Okay, mod two, we have Robin here. Again, we're just decreasing range of motion on the mods. All right, so we're not quite as low. We're not rotating quite as much as mod three, but we're still getting that nice rotation here. Good, and then mod one, standing up nice and tall, back and forth. Listen, this is the perfect exercise before taking any swings, All right? You wanna get into that swing nice and loosened up through the torso. This can be done with a golf club held in front of you, similar to mod three, right? To warm up before you go into a round of golf or at the driving range. Good, we got three seconds, two, and one, okay, up next is your rowing single leg deadlift. So you're gonna stand on your left leg, partially bend the knee, come down all the way to 90 degrees if you're mod three. Take your time getting there. Row, squeeze those blades together, and then come right back up to the top. I don't want you to touch ground if you're in mod three, okay? Starting in three seconds. Two and one. Here we go. That's it. 
Good, so if you're in mod one, you're just guiding your body with your hands on the thigh, okay? So you're not going as deep here. Every time Steph comes up to the top, she's squeezing those blades, right? And then coming out of position, nice job. Pick a spot beneath you here, okay? There we go, there we go. That's it, squeeze those blades. Good, and let's switch sides, guys. So switch the leg. Yeah, remember, this is all about control, all about control. I want you to exhale as you pull that barbell up and squeeze the blades together every time. Nice job, Robin, good. So our mod two, we're not going as deep, but we're still getting that same action. All right, that's your last rep right there. Three, two, and one, excellent. Next up is the cross crawl, okay? So you're gonna go arms 90 degrees. I want you to bring your right leg up and you're gonna bring your torso right across. So you're bringing opposite elbow towards opposite leg here. Three seconds till we start. Two and one, here we go. Good, so if you're in your mod one position, arms are folded across the shoulders here, across the shoulders. Still getting that nice rotation, still driving the knee up. This focuses on pelvic lumbar stability. A Little bit of mobility through the torso, excellent. Mod two, arms are folded right here. If you're finding this easy, feel free to pick up the pace here, right? You can go a little faster, no problem with that. Just keep your posture intact and keep your form accurate all the way through, that's it. Mod three, arms are right behind the heads the whole time. Good, we're picking up the pace here with you, Gay. feeling good? Oh, yeah. All right, getting Excellent. functional here. Let's keep this going. We have about five seconds left starting right now. Five, that's it. Four, three, nice and tall, two, and done, excellent. Okay, next one is the hay baler. So mod three, you're gonna get right down to 90 degrees. Your arms are an extension of the torso. Come right down, right? Initiate with the legs and finish with that torso, right across. All right, three seconds, two, and one. I'll let you know when to switch sides. Focus on powerful trunk rotation, which provides your swing with more speed. Good, exhale with each turn, guys, each turn. Very good, the faster you swing, the further the ball goes, remember that. Right, so generate that power, exhale, swing, excellent. The trick is to keep full control when you're swinging fast. Switch directions now. Good, so even though you're increasing the speed, if you feel good, increase the speed, but keep that control. There's control all the way through. All the way through, that's it. Great, Jugay, very good. Good, use that breath as well. Good, we have five seconds left. That's it, Robin. We're going a little bit less depth here. There we go, two and one, nice work. All right, next is the windmill, okay? So what I'm gonna get you to do is you're gonna face your toes about 45 degrees towards the right, okay? Take your right hand down towards the inner thigh of the right leg, your left hand up in the air. Look up at that hand for me. I want you to come down slowly, your hip towards the left. You're gonna reach towards the ankle and then come right back up to the top again, okay? We're gonna repeat that until I say switch sides, okay? Three seconds, two and one. Again, you have your mods and your mods are based on range of motion, the depth at which you're going here. Every time Steph goes down here, she's stretching those obliques, right? Obliques are very important for stability muscles and power muscles for golf. You gotta keep that in mind here. Really feel that. Very good, you feel that, right? Oh yeah. Good, That's good. Great. Switch directions. Perfect. Some people think you don't have to be fit to play golf. I mean, look at Tiger Woods. He's in incredible shape. The fitter you are, you're preventing injury, you got more power. Definitely wanna focus on your fitness. That's it, try to stay completely lateral. So again, you're in mod three. We're going right down to that ankle each time. Feel that stretch, okay? Oh, yeah. Very good. All right, we're almost there. Three seconds, two, and one. We're gonna lie onto the back now. We're getting into what's called the moving bridge. So your arms are out in T position, head and neck relax. Lift those hips right up towards the ceiling. You're gonna lift your leg up and extend at the knee joint, all right? Right leg then left leg. Your hips should stay nice and still throughout this movement. Let's start in three seconds. Two and one, here we go. Tutorials are there to make sure you get accurate form, okay? We want the best results, we want the best form you can get. Good, core nice and tight, that is perfect, Robin. Mod two, arms are down a little bit closer to the body to stabilize the body a little more, but we're just lifting straight up and down instead of extending at the knee joint. Very good, good, and mod one, arms are even closer. All we're doing here is we're lifting hips up and down. We're engaging the entire posterior chain of the lower body here and a little bit of the lower back. So you got hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Good, not only do you need to be fit to play golf, you need to be functionally fit, right? Big difference there. Good, that's it. Hips nice and still. So we got your game mod three. We're extending at the knee every time. Three seconds left. That's it, two 
And last one, nice work guys. Okay, let's get you standing. We're gonna go into the force field swinger next. So feet about shoulder width apart, keep the knees slightly bent. I want you to bend over about 45 degrees, posture intact here, hands are about four inches away from each other. You're gonna come up with that right arm and slam right towards the left arm. We're keeping stillness through the midsection here as you go side to side, all right? Starting in three seconds, two and one. This is the perfect chance for you to focus on stillness and control of the body, right? The more you're in control of your body, the more control you have over where that ball goes. That's important. Mod one, that's it, perfect. So we're not as deep. Core's nice and tight. She's super still through the torso and hips. Very good. So make sure the hands aren't touching. That's your force field there. Opposite polarities, right? When that right hand comes in, it forces the left hand out. Good, core nice and tight. Be aware of your core tension here. That's it, Robin, very good. So mod two, we're getting a little bit further with the range. Excellent, all the way to mod three here. Jugay's getting basically as far as he can. As you come up, you probably feel a nice stretch through the pecs as well, oh, yeah. right? As long as we're staying still through that midsection and hip area. We got three seconds left here, two and one. We're gonna get into the blowout, guys. So I'm gonna get you to lie on the back, okay? So you're lying on the back. We're starting with supine scissors, okay? So you're gonna keep your head and neck supported on the ground, arms out in T position. Lift the legs up and we're going back and forth, okay? Draw your belly button tight to the spine. I'll let you know when to switch to the prone flutter. We're starting in three seconds. Two, and here we go. Good, so we're really working the abdominal wall here. A Little bit of the flexors as well. I want you to be very conscious of your head and neck. Keep them very relaxed here, that's it. Belly button is down and back right towards that spine. Very good. Excellent, so mod three, our legs are right off the ground, just hovering, okay? Mod two, the main difference is we're up a little higher, okay? Still very challenging, isn't it, Robin? Arms are in a little bit tighter towards the body, which is gonna help with stability. Good, keep that going. Keep your breathing nice and natural here, right? Nice and natural all the way through. Mod one, we have step. Arms are a little closer to the body, a little more stability, and the legs are almost straight up in the air, but we're still focusing on that core, right? All right, guys, I'm gonna get you to flip right over onto the front. Yep, going into the prone flutter. So you're lying face down, head looks at the ground, thumbs up, and you're fluttering. Back and forth, right, left, right, left. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Here we go, right into it. Good. Nice. Don't be married to your mod here. If you can push it a little more, then I want you to move up, okay? Form is everything. Keep your form intact all the way through. Nice job. Very good. Good job, guys. Kind of looks like a swimming exercise, but it's really great for golf. You're improving the muscles you need to counteract that forward-leaning position. All right, let's flip over, get back to the supine scissors. We're gonna go right into it for the last 15 seconds. Here we go. That's it, guys. Nice and quick. If you're in mod three, draw that belly button down tight. That's it, keep relaxed up top. Nice, you game. very good. All right, we got five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, that is the first round. We have 45 seconds of break here. Grab some water, nice, awesome. Good job, guys. Good job, good job. All right, grab some water. <clears throat> so golf is very much a mental game. It's about keeping your focus and keeping control with your mind on where you want that ball to go. So we're focusing on all that. I want you to keep very focused on this second round. This is the second round of set A. Here we go. So we're starting off with your bent over Zen swing. 45 degree bend, keep your core tight, hold that golf club, and we're going side to side, side to side. All right, three seconds, two, and one. Here we go, good. If you're in that mod three position, I wanna see that nice full rotation, but again, we're staying very accurate with form here. Spine is straight, nice natural curve in your low back, right, athletic stance. Good, mod two, we got Robin, we're not down as deep but we're still getting through that nice rotation here. You'll notice your heel comes off the ground a little bit as you turn. Allow that to happen, right? We want to follow through. Very good, Robin. All right, mod one, we're doing a straight swing. So you're up nice and tall, but we're still doing a full rotation, full rotation, getting that torso involved. Very good. So this is a strength exercise, but it's also a great warm-up exercise for golf, right? You want to mobilize your torso, mobilize everything around the hips and core area. We got five seconds left, guys. Four, three, Two, one, excellent. Okay, we're gonna challenge your stability going back into our rowing single leg deadlift. Stand on your left leg, knee partially bent all the way down to 90 degrees. Grab that barbell, squeeze the shoulder blades together, come back up to the top, all right? I'll let you know when to switch sides, starting in three seconds. Two and one, here we go. Again, if you're not too good with the stability yet, you're getting there. Start with mod one here. 
You're gonna still row as you come up, but you're gonna slide your hands down the thigh just for a little additional support. Every time Steph comes up to the top, she's squeezing those blades, right? And then coming out of position, nice job. All right, keep going. We're almost ready to switch sides. Mod two, let's switch legs. We're still rowing on mod two. We're not going as deep, but we're focusing again. Imagine you're holding dumbbells as opposed to a barbell. Coming right back, squeezing those blades together, working those postural muscles, focusing on that balance. And then mod three, of course, we're going all the way to 90 degrees. Yeah, keep a nice, strong spine there, that's it. Going right back up, never touching ground, okay? Last three seconds. Last two, and one. Okay, next one is the cross crawl, hands behind the head. You're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg, so bring the knee up, side to side here, just like we did on the first round, starting in three seconds. Two, and one. Here we go, again, don't be married to your mod here, you can move it around. If you wanna pick up the pace on this, as long as your form is correct, you can pick up the pace, no problem. That's it, good. So remember, that core is central to movement, central to power. We wanna keep focusing on drawing that belly button tight to the spine. Nice, mod two, we got our arms stacked. Okay, still getting a nice rotation here. Great job, Robin. All right, bare feet and everything. Mod one, we have Steph, arms folded across the shoulders, okay? We're still rotating side to side, still moving opposite arm, opposite leg. Good, good, keep going. About 10 seconds left. Remember, don't forget to keep the breathing going. So exhale with your twist every time. Good. Remember, a lot of power in your golf swing comes from your core. Three, two, and one. And let's get into the hay baler. So we're down 90 degrees if you're in mod three, all the way down, exhale, finish right up towards the top, okay? Three seconds till we start, two, and one. Remember, your arms are an extension of your torso, right? Just like golf, you wanna use that, use that power, that central power that comes from the torso and the hips. Excellent finish there, Steph, good. Using that breath as well as you come up to the top. Very good. So in this particular exercise, we're initiating the movement with the lower body, and then we're finishing it with the torso and hips here. Switch direction, guys. That's it, Robin. All right, let's see it, good. So imagine you have a weight in the hands, right? That's gonna keep you focusing on that posture, keeping the postural muscles strong all the way through. Nice, erect posture all the way through. We're almost there, we got 10 seconds left. That's it, you get, you get that twist to the outside of the knee. Keep the arms nice and straight. Remember, your chest follows your arms. Follows your arms all the way through. Lead with the sternum here. Okay, three seconds, two, and one. Okay, let's get into that windmill. So, feet are about 45 degrees to the right. Take your right hand towards the inner thigh. Left hand up towards the ceiling. Look at that hand for me and slowly descend down towards the ankle. Come right back up. I'll let you know when to switch sides. Ready? Three, two, one, and here we go. This is a great exercise to be aware of your flexibility imbalances, right? Notice the difference between right and left. A lot of times there is a difference. Golfing is very one-sided. We wanna to try to balance that out. Good, so again, mod one, we're just decreasing the range of motion, but we're still getting that side stretching every time. Let's go two more reps and then we'll switch. Good, one more, and switch sides for me, same thing. So look up to that hand, keep your head neutral, feel the stretch. Think of, is there a difference between your right and left? Are you noticing that you were tighter on one side? Right, be aware of that. That's it, you gave very good. Good, so again, we're getting right to the bottom with mod three position here. We have two more reps to finish this off. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Let's get back down on the ground, going into our moving bridge. Arms in T, lying on your back. Lift your hips up, contract your core, extend at the knee joint, right leg, then left leg. All right, starting in three seconds. Two, and one. We're gonna alternate all the way through here. Perfect, so if you're in mod two, you're not extending at the knee joint, you're just lifting the leg up, right? And then planting it back down. But hips remain the same height all the way through. That's the important thing on the mod three and mod two position. Arms are a little closer together when you're in mod two. Great job, Robin. And mod one, we're lifting up and down the hips. So the feet stay planted on the ground the whole time, but we're still engaging the back of the body here. Very good, exhale each time. Head and neck relaxed. We got about 15 seconds left. Good, I want you to really tune in to what you're actually working here, right? Stability through the pelvis, through the core area. Hips should stay as still as possible. Look at that perfect example, Jugay. Good, mod three, we wanna extend all the way out. Straight legs every time, two seconds left. One, nice, okay. We're gonna get back into the force field swinger. So get your standing position, bend over 45 degrees. Arms are down, but chest is high, shoulders are back, right? So again, lift that arm up and boom, right towards the left. We're going back and forth. That's a force field. It's pretty quick and we're stable through the torso. Three seconds, two, and one, here we go. Time to shatter your personal best, guys. This is round two. Nice. 
Good, good. Yeah, and you want to go with the breath too. When you come across and that other hand moves, you're exhaling, right? It's forceful. It's important, as always, to focus on both sides, right? This is a very repetitive sport that's generally on your dominant side. You're going to be tighter on one side than the other. We're always focusing on equalizing strength, equalizing flexibility, and range of motion. We got about 15 seconds left here. That's it, Robin. Breathe through it. Good. Really still through here. Keep that focus. Nice. Good. It's interesting when you speed up, your body wants to move around, right? So keep that focus on keeping yourself planted and stable in that position as you come through. Nice and quick. Good. Three seconds. Two. And one, nice job, okay, awesome. All right, time for the blowout again. Let's lie on the back. We'll start with the supine scissors. I'm gonna move you around a little quicker here. Core engaged, it's back and forth. Back and forth, head and neck are relaxed, all right? Three seconds till we start. Two and one, here we go, nice and quick. Nice and quick, that's it. Good, 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 that's it. Keep that core nice and tight. Very good, control the breathing, relax the arms. Remember, arms shouldn't start floating off the ground, guys. You wanna focus right here, central, torso. That's it, we got three seconds left and we're gonna flip right over into that prone flutter. Two and one, let's go right over. Nice, all right, mod two, you got your arms partially bent. You're still fluttering though, head is still neutral. We're focusing on those strong back extensors. Awesome job, awesome job, keep it going. Nice. Five more seconds. I'm going to go right back to the supine scissors. That's it. Keep going. Good. Mod Don't three. We're going to get a little job. higher. A little higher. Hang in there. See him. Nice. Robin. Nice. That's it, Jugate. Challenge it. Two and Master one. DJ. Flip over. Here we go. <laughs> good. All right. Let's work this. Nice. Good. Good. Again, be conscious of your back position, right? You shouldn't start overarching in that low back. If you are, you need to mod down. Right? Keep that belly button drawn tight. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Nice breathing. Nice breathing. Good. You're almost down to the last 30 seconds here, guys. We're going to switch it again in three seconds. Two. One, good flip for me. Go back into the prone flutter. Nice and quick, guys. Just keep that transition going. You're almost there. You've almost completed the express version. Good, there we go. Yes, you see that extra height you just gave me? That's what I want. Good, keep going. Almost there, good flip over. Last 15 seconds. Let's finish it off strong, guys. Work that core. Here we go. That's it, 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven. That's it, you get six, five, four, relax, three, Two and one. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Well done. Awesome. Congratulations. You just completed the express program of Golf One. Nice job. Let's grab some water. We're going to stretch it out a little bit. Good work over there. All right, let's cool down. So although slower than other sports, golf is a long game, right? Hydration is key, particularly when you're playing 18 holes in a hot climate. Right? So you want to make sure you're always hydrating your body. Okay? All right, guys, first stretch. We're actually going to zen it out again, but we're going to go seated. Okay? So I want you to sit right down. So what you're doing is you're going to go side to side. When I go to the right, I'm lifting my right knee. When I go to the left, I'm lifting my left knee. You're just sliding your feet here. Right? Nothing excessive, just a gradual movement of the knee as you go side to side. Keep your posture tall. Don't fold over. All right? Good. And just like any other game, you should really stretch after golf. Right? Your muscles get tight. This is a very repetitive sport. You're hitting one side over and over and over. You want to make sure we're balancing things out. Good. Another five seconds. Then we're going to remain on the ground. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's cross over. So left leg over the right. Grab your left knee with your right hand. Okay? Pull that left knee towards your chest and then just gradually rotate towards the left for me. You're going to feel that nice stretch through the hip, maybe even a little bit of the low back if you're tight. Okay? Breathe in, breathe out, nice deep breaths here. Controlling your breathing is gonna help you get deeper into the stretch. Good. Another five seconds. Remember, chest high, shoulders back. That's it. And let's switch sides, same thing. So right over left, use your left arm to grab that right knee, pull in towards the chest, rotate towards the right. Nice deep breaths, holding for 10. Good. So hydration is important. It's also important to fuel your body in between games when you're training. It makes a huge impact on your energy and your performance. Check out Evolve Nutrition to figure out what's most effective for you. Good. From there, last two seconds, I'm going to get you to go onto your knees. So just get right onto your knees for me in this position. Okay. Put your hands directly in front of you. Yeah. And I just want you to sink down. Exhale, imagine your hips getting towards those heels. You're gonna feel a nice light stretch through your lats, through the side of the back here. Perhaps even your low back a little bit if you're tight. Hold for a couple more seconds. Good, and then we're gonna come forward. 
So into four points, and then right through four points, drop the hips gradually towards the ground. Look up towards the ceiling without overstraining your neck, okay? Nice deep breaths, take three of them for me. Three. That's it, two more. Good, and last one. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. Then I'll get you standing up. Very good, all right, let's stand up. Well done, listen, this was the Express Program of Golf One. I'm Brent, this is my team, this is Evolve. Nice job guys, awesome.